Support for Greater Chattanooga is provided by EPB, Blood Assurance, and the local office of UBS Financial Services. nice lady at the grocery store asked me what kind of music I play, I just tell her loud. Somebody who's in another local band asked me, I was like, well, it's, it's kind of technical, a little progressive, um, dare I say math rock. People are quick to throw the term math rock and stuff like that around. I would call this complicated. I would call it layered. I would call it colorful, emotional. A little aggressive, a little in your face sometimes, but I try to still make it catchy. You know, I still want to have fun and I still want it to be listenable. Loud, in your face, crazy music. I will put a cape on and I will get the smoke machine out and we can call it prog rock in a heartbeat. The term monomath I don't think is accepted into the, the a Big Oxford Dictionary yet. Polymath is there, but monomath isn't. A monomath is someone who has um, expert knowledge in one specific field. Monomath is a fun little project that I devised a few years ago. I wanted to play music that I enjoyed that kept my short attention span. <laughs> Your music offers me a means to control my frantic nature, you know, this outlet. I don't want to use the term bored, but I, I lose interest or, I, you know, a butterfly comes across and then whatever I'm listening to, if it doesn't catch me. If you're listening to pop music, you might notice that things are repetitive. I, I'm going to space out pretty quick and I'm, I'm going I'm to lose focus on that. I'm not going it, it's, it's, it's to, it's going to be background music. Stuff like Monomath, it's gonna hold your attention because you have to concentrate. It's like I'm trying to build a process the whole time. It has pushed me uh, musically. It has opened my creativity in this in, in a weird way where all those ad time signatures that, that Gabe throws at me. It, you could say it's tougher, but I see it more like fun. We do offer your plugs, offer uh, offer your plugs to people at the beginning of the show. Very few people take us up on that. I wear your plugs when we play. We write so much uh, technical and intricate parts. You're gonna have a hard time hearing them without the earplugs. They have that sweet spot, and you find it, and it's gonna like it's gonna be loud.
the live performance is definitely a dance. We joke that it's the pedal dance. He dances on the pedals, and I've got significantly less amount of that kind of gear to deal with, but it still requires me to think more than normal. I didn't want to be a taskmaster and say, here, play this, and play it 28 times in a row. That's going to get old really quick. It's, it's almost like the third rhythm section member, the looper itself. In addition to running the loops, I have all the effects pedals, all these fun stuff that mask, mask my, um, my sloppy playing. Setting the loops live, it can be tricky. Sometimes they have to run simultaneously, so we have, I have to figure out how to, how, how to hit two pedals with both feet. Brian has to do the same thing. He'll do, he has to do a crossover sometime. I'll stand back and watch him out of the corner of my eye and just wait for him to topple over. I feel like it's, it might be more like mus musician's music. I, I don't know, because I've never been on the other side. Most of the, the positive comments and feedback come from musicians because they, they, they understand what goes into writing to play in on time signatures, what it takes to make hard left turns in music like that, and still be together playing in unison. It's, it's, it's a bit of a challenge. People that, you know, don't know what 7-8 or 9-8 or whatever we're playing, for other people might sound like a mistake, but other people are like, oh, that's cool. I think that's why the musicians respond to it, is, is they, for lack of a better term, get it. I think Monomath adds a little weird to the music scene. I just want to play music that I enjoy, my friends enjoy, and have fun doing it. as though we are bringing something very unique in terms of uh, music and then just melting phases to use that stupid term god If you enjoyed this episode and you want to see more of this series, subscribe on YouTube to be notified when new stories are available. Thanks!